Former chairperson of the Convention People's Party, Samia Nkuma, says she will, for the third time, contest the Jomaro seat in the December 7 parliamentary elections. He says parliament needs independent-minded people whose vision is beyond partisanship. She spoke with my colleague, Evelyn Tengma. In 2008, Samia Nkrumah contested and won the Jomoro seat with 19,916 votes as against her main contender, the late Lee Okran of the NDC, who secured 13,345 votes. But she could not retain the seat in 2012, losing it to NDC's wing commander, Francis Anaman. She again contested for the seat in 2016, but lost. The former MP is staging a comeback. Preparing to go back to Jumoro. We are fighters. You have to continue the journey. You know, there are many reasons why you lose or win. Our parliament, our decision making in Ghana needs a genuine Nkrumah's voice and it needs politicians who are not afraid of any party leadership, who speak their mind and who speak for the people of Ghana. In fact, if half our parliament was uh, manned or housed by independent-minded MPs, you would have seen a big difference in deliberations and in even the policies uh, and the impacts on the people of Ghana. She maintained her loss in 2012 was as a result of the voters' register compiled in that year. I was not in either of the big parties, so we didn't have the, let's say, the, the know-how, how to, you know, challenge uh, the system. But we know what happens in elections, but that should never be a deterrent. The former CPP chairperson, who will not tell whether she will contest on the ticket of the CPP or as an independent candidate, says her chances are bright. Samia Nkrumah added her voice to calls for a new voters register for the December 7 polls. That voters register that we went in in 2012, based on my individual experience running as a candidate, I said that there is something wrong with that voters register because in the constituency where I was running, the number of voters increased exponentially and in a manner that could not have happened naturally. I have maintained that from 2012 and I have never changed my position. I've been consistent. Of course we need a new voters register, but as we are doing so, we need to be very careful and very vigilant so that we have a voters register that it truly reflects the reality on the ground.